Coming up on today's Philadelphia Eagles Now Pro Football Focus, putting together a three-round mock draft. So we're going to take a look at the Eagles draft targets within that draft. A couple of certainly interesting names to talk about. And of course, we're going to do some deep dives on these prospects as well. One of which I kind of like for Philadelphia if he's on the board at number 30. Stay tuned for that. But let's show you the Eagles 2023 draft picks here. What a situation it is for Howie Roseman, this front office, this organization, to make it to the Super Bowl, to come within a couple of plays of winning it, to hang up an NFC championship banner, and to have two first-round picks, and a top-10 pick. So having this draft capital is really important for you because you're going to have to pay Jalen Hurts a lot of money. You're going to be tight on the salary cap, and if you can get premium cost-controlled players, it allows you to stay competitive and talented on that roster. So number 10 and number 30 in the first round, number 62 in the second round, have a third round pick 94th overall, and then two seventh round picks, 219 and 248. And by the way, in 2024, Eagles once again locked and loaded with a lot of draft capital. I know this pick, a lot of you aren't going to like it. Peter Skaronsky at number 10 to the Eagles, the tackle guard hybrid out of Northwestern. He's a really good player. Some might make the argument he is the best offensive lineman in this draft. I like his versatility. There are some question marks with him because people aren't sure if his arms are long enough to play tackle, but I'll tell you what. I looked at him go up against some really good Big Ten defensive linemen where week in, week out, you're going up against some really quality players. He held his own. And he was dominant, pancaking a couple of dudes. Last year in 2022, one sack allowed, two hits, three quarterback hurries, a pro football focus run grade of 81.7. While it might not be a sexy pick and one that gets you excited, it's in Howie Roseman's wheelhouse. And I bet you he would probably nerd out over this selection. I'm just not sure what Philadelphia is going to do here because Cam Jurgens is going to slide over from center to right guard to take over for Isaac Sayamalo. I would imagine, right? Once Jason Kelsey retires, Cam Jurgens will then pop back to center. In the meantime, do you want to have Jurgens play right guard or do you draft Skaronsky to play right guard? And then at some point, once Lane Johnson retires, as he signed that extension through 2026, maybe Skaronsky is your future right tackle. So a couple of different options here with taking Skaronsky because of that versatility. Of note here, he did have a pre-draft visit with Philadelphia. I highly doubt that he gets out of the top 15 because he is a very good player. As for what PFF had to say about Skaronsky, general manager Howie Roseman isn't going to let Isaac Sayamalo walking in free agency cost the Eagles their title as the NFL's best offensive line. Skaronsky can start at right guard in year one with his tackle versatility also future-proving that position. And... For Jeff Stoutland, best offensive line coach in the NFL, he would certainly be able to develop Peter Skaronsky. So with that, let's pivot to our poll question on today's show. Embrace debate here. This will be the pinned comment. So if you get hit with that YouTube ad break, scroll on down and get your votes in. Would you be mad if Skaronsky went to the Eagles at number 10? M for mad or G for a good pick? To the pick at number 30 in the first round. I love it. I'm intrigued by the player. I think the Eagles need an upgrade at wide receiver three. And in selecting Zay Flowers, they would get just that. A gadget weapon who could really cause some havoc in this offense. And unseat Quez Watkins as wide receiver number three. Mediocre Boston College offense with subpar quarterback play. Yet Zay Flowers, who has a great name too, by the way, put up extraordinary production. You can run jet sweeps, you can run bubble screens, you can run reverses. He could take the top off of the defense. He can line up out wide in the slot. He ran a couple of those motion plays at Boston College that had the Eagles defense biting against the Kansas City Chiefs to guys like Sky Moore as well as Kadarius Toney. Yes, I had to bring it back up because it gives you an illustration of the route tree and the versatility of Zay Flowers. 78 catches last year, more than 1,000 yards 12 touchdowns coming in a variety of ways, could pick up yards after the catch. And his production over four years at Boston College 
Very, very good. Comes in as a freshman, 22 grabs, 341. The year after that, 56 catches, 892 yards. 2021, BC had some injuries at that quarterback spot. Still reeled in, 46 or 44 catches for 746 yards. And then this past year, the numbers that we showed you. And anytime he gets his hands on the football, as evidenced by the average yards per catch, it's going for 15 plus yards. You look at his RAS scores. This is the relative athletic score measuring athletes on a scale of 1 to 10 to see how they measure up in these athletic departments. He is smaller at 5'8". That's why he's more of a gadget guy and a wide receiver 3. 182 pounds. So that's why he gets a composite size grade in the red of very poor. But broad jump pretty good. Goes to show you the explosiveness and he's a very, very quick player. He Checked in elite in the 40-yard dash with the 4-4-2, 20-yard split of 2-5-3, and a 10-yard split of 1-4-8. My big prediction come draft time for Philadelphia, at number 10, I would not be shocked if they get a Jackson Smith and Jigba, if they traded back to get a wide receiver three, if they take a wide receiver at number 30, or if they get a new wide receiver three at some point in this draft. It's a pressing need, I believe, for this offense. Cost-controlled player. When you already have expensive players in A.J. Brown, hopefully soon Devontae Smith, you're paying Dallas Goddard. Pretty important to get that wide receiver three position locked down. So if you want the birds to draft Zay Flowers, it's the best name in the draft, arguably. Type Zay down in the comment section. He's got game. He really, really does. Moving on, in our Eagles mock draft from Pro Football Focus, a lot of people going to like this pick. So I don't love the first pick with Skaronsky because I've been falling in love with B. John Robinson. I like Zay Flowers and the value there at number 30. I also like the value here of Jordan Battle at pick number 62. 13 games played for Alabama last year. That defense was, once again, really, really good. He is a very good coverage safety. You look at some of the numbers here, not a guy who's going to play around the box, more so of a coverage safety. A reason why he might be available at the back end of the third round. Didn't test crazy in terms of his athleticism. He's six foot, 209 pounds. That's pretty solid. Benching 225, 17 times. His 40-yard dash, 455. His 10-yard split, though, pretty good. So short area quickness. And here's my thing about the 40-yard dash, right? He can make up for the lack of speed with play instincts, with him being able to decipher what the offense is going to do, with him just being a very smart and heady player. And sometimes I don't care about the twitchiness athletically. I don't care if you run a 4-3, 40-yard dash. If you don't know how to play the game of football, you're going to get lost in translation on the defensive side of the ball in what is going to most likely be a complex defense and system under Sean Desai. But if you can be a smart and heady player, you could play in this league for a really, really long time. Our final question here on this segment, who do you want the Eagles to draft? I'm hopping on board the Bijan train. I like Zay Flowers. I like Jordan Battle. A lot of players who I really like. Drop your draft knowledge down below and a couple of names if you do, please.